Hi everyone, this is Christina. Today is the 21st November 2019 and Blender 2.8.1 is just around the corner. I've already downloaded it from the Blender server. It's about noon in Europe, lunchtime. On their website there is still that download Blender 2.8.0 button, but at the time you watch it, most likely you already see Blender 2.8.1. I already have a video about using multiple Blender versions, but that is a bit outdated because that was about Blender 2.79. So I will do a new one. And when you go to their site, blender.org, just click on that download button. I'm working on Windows 10 64 bit. And the first thing I'm offered is that installer. I never grabbed that. I don't want to install Blender on my system because I use different versions. Why? If you look at this folder, that's the versions I use for now. You can see I have different 2.8 versions and different work versions. One with Hardops installed, one with other hard surface add-ons like Fluent, Speedflow. The short keys interfere with each other, so I keep them separated. And I also have a Sculpt version and a test version because I'm beta tester for some add-ons. So I want and need different versions and that doesn't work when you grab that installer. Instead I go here and you can see this is the installer I'm offered and here is also a zip version and that is a version you can use out of the box. You just unzip it, double click the Blender Exe and it's running. 32-bit will go away. With Blender 2.8.1 we will not have support for the old system anymore but anyway. Let's have a look at my AppNada roaming folder where the entries appear when you install an app. So you see no Blender Foundation entry. Let's go to the new folder I made in my download folder. This is the zip I've already downloaded. I will unzip it. I use the free 7 zip and just extract here. And while that is running, let's have a look at the README which is included with the zip. And you can see here the download zip contains a Blender folder. You may put this anywhere on your hard drive to launch Blender. Double click on Blender Exe. That is exactly what I will do now. And if you have a look at my roaming folder, there is oops, still no Blender Foundation entry. This is the unpacked folder here. And you see that Blender Exe, I've sorted this by type. That's the reason why it's up here. But before we go there, let's have a look at that folder here. You see those three folders, data files, Python and scripts. No config folder. If I double click the Blender Excel, that will start and will greet me with the new splash screen. This is the chunk job by Alex Trevino. You can download the clay file without textures for free. I will put that down in the description below. So here I say left, I use the space bar for search and I click next. I can click here or click one of that, but let's have a look at the roaming folder. You see as soon as I click that next button, now that entry Blender Foundation appears. And here is a config folder. If I want to use different versions, I can't go with that because if I don't separate this configurations, every Blender instance will have the same configuration. So we're not going with that. I close Blender, go to the roaming folder and just delete that entry. Nothing happens to your system when you work like that. What I do instead is I go into that 2.81 folder here and just make an empty config folder. Name it config lowercase and I name this here work1. Just copy it and in both will now be that empty config folder. And when I now open Blender again in either of that, I don't have saved settings anymore. If I start Blender, it now looks not at that roaming folder here. It doesn't look there because Blender sees, hey, I have my own config folder. I'm just looking here and writes all the config files to this config folder. That's how that works. Let's sort this by type, open Blender, and I'm now greeted with that screen again because no saved config 
I click on search and click next and that's all. And if I go here, you can now see that user prefs that was written automatically. I haven't saved the default file yet. Before we do that, this is new with Blender 2.8.1. This just tells you your graphics card is supported or not. And you see I'm using a quite old card, 960 GeForce, and it says supported. If your graphics card isn't supported, you will get a one-time warning when you start Blender. And in this user plus file are the default settings, which add-ons do I have, and so on. Now let's just go to texture paint. That layout looks like this. And I will go to the preferences to the add-ons and type F2 because that is an add-on I use in every version and also the loop tools. I activate them and auto save preferences is active, but you also can save them here. That doesn't matter. These are the things that are saved in the user prefs, the layout is saved in the startup file. So I do that, save startup file, and you can see now we also have this one here. That is in the work one version. I don't have to close this. I could, but I don't have to. Let's just go to the other one, to work two. That config folder is still empty. Oops, here we go. Sort by type. And if I now open that, I'm doing my initial selections here, the quick setup, go with search, type next. And you see that has another layout. I will close this. Let's have a look at that folder here. I didn't save the startup file yet, but I can do that. Let's just say for this one, I want a sculpting workflow. Workspace, not workflow. I save this startup file, close both versions. I don't want to save the file itself. So this is the work two with the sculpting workspace that's here. And if I go to work one, I will have the painting workspace. So I can work independently. And if we go to this one here and have a look at the add-ons, I type in F2. And you see in this version, this isn't active. In this version it is active. So that's the way how you can use different configurations if you need to like I do. And let's have a look at the roaming folder and refresh it. And you see no Blender Foundation entry. So if I don't want to use that anymore I just go in here. I can't delete it now because I have both versions open. But I can just delete the whole folder and it's gone away. Nothing happens to your system. That's how you do that. If you have questions about it, please ask me in the comments. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great time. Bye bye.